We're back, people, and today we're going to film on Julian Hill, Miami Dolphins tight end, taking a look at how he's been in, like, his 160-ish snaps this season. As an undrafted guy, you know, came in as a surprise to a lot of people, but after watching him in the preseason, I became, like, a huge fan of his game. In that tight end two role, I feel like he's been very solid ever since he got his first work, especially as a blocker. Like, he finally got some work in the passing game. I want to see that evolve as the season goes on. This past week, he got his first catch, but he's had some dynamic blocks. He's very good on the move. Look at him, like, take out the defensive end here on this run from Mostert. This absolutely thing of beauty. Love this. Uh, it's not super easy to get, like, these types of big hits. Look at him readjust this angle right here. Tack that inside shoulder, and you can see just the pop in his hands, creating that displacement, just beautifully blocked up front by the whole unit. And I think he's a big boost to what this team has. And I think, you know... I think if he becomes a little more reliable in the passing game, like understanding just where he needs to be every single play, I think he has like some more natural talent than Durham Smythe. Smythe's just more reliable right now, but Julian Hill could eventually develop into a nice little weapon for this team down the line. Looking forward to seeing him uh, as the season goes on. One of my favorite plays from this last game from Julian Hill, the Patriots game, where he gives a little hesitation right there to freeze the defensive end and then goes to block the linebacker. This is just great work here. Don't see this type of savviness from a rookie. Look at, first of all, his split here is huge. And he's got to get out to this linebacker. And he still gives this hesitation just to freeze this edge right here. Get him to stand and not just shoot downhill right away to give his time for the guard to come kick him out. And he's still able to get to the linebacker uh, and drive him down the line, which gives Moster a nice little six-yard gain on the first play. Just watch Hill here. Great angle there to get there too. And just the athleticism. Excellent, excellent rep from Julian Hill. Very savvy, nuanced, veteran type of play. Here's his first catch of the season, just working on like the seam rail slide RPO. He's the, the slide flat option. He did get another target on this game. Wouldn't have been nice to see him get that catch. And nothing too crazy here. Just wanted to show it off on the film just to see that he got it, made this play you know, flipped his hips around. There was nowhere early for him to go. Not to get to see too much. Not like the smoothest looking play either. But I am excited when he does get a chance to start running some routes down the field. Like he was a seam threat, big playmaker after the catch in college. So I want to see if that can translate to the next level. Here we got Hill out in space. This is a very nice block one-on-one -on -one with this, you know, defensive end. He gets a little bit of help from Chris Brooks, who also was blocking like a maniac in this game. But I just like to see this stuff. Out on a DB, you got to be able to move. Look at him get out of his stance here. Great lateral step. Um, good angle, too. He doesn't, like, instantly go upfield. He takes that first step laterally. So he's able to hook him, get on the outside, and now he's just active with his hands, drive him down the line, and sustains for the entire, you know, majority of this. He also gets, like, high hand, low hand. Shoulders are turning. He's straining this guy. And just, that's good work from your tight end to block for that long out in space. I really like the space that he can, you know, like the work that he can do in space. It's pretty uh, exceptional for a tight end. Another example of Julian Hill blocking on space on like these tosses, whether it's reverses, things like that. And he like looks for work here the whole time, thinks he's going to see a linebacker, doesn't end up seeing, you know, one coming out into his work here. That They all end up shooting down Hill a little too fast. They take the bait on this. That's exactly what they want. So Hill just gets upfield, doesn't waste his time, finds the next guy, and look at him just drive, maintain this uh, for a very long time. I mean, he gets tossed to the ground, but that's after he's already, you know, pushed the DB back about 10 yards, and their running backs already passed him. That's beautiful work from Julian Hill. Really, really like him in these areas. He brings a little bit of a, like him and Smythe are both solid blockers, but he brings a little bit of a different a uh, different skill set with his blocking. They both can do some of the same stuff, some overlap, but I think uh, Hill on these types of concepts is a little bit better of a fit. Second and one situation, look at him and Austin Jackson work this combo. Look how much space they create attacking downhill, and then he goes to the next level at number 48. This is just great work. Loving seeing him in all of these different types of run concepts. Attack the low hip, help Jackson create this push right there, and then get that angle to the next level to cut off this linebacker. So if this... You know, this defensive tackle didn't come in unblocked like last second. Uh, Wilson could have squeezed through here and had like an even bigger gain, but that's really good work from the right side of the line on that one. This play, Julian Hill gets called for holding. I still think it's, you know, that an absolutely horrible call. Like he does a great job blocking that DB out in space on the Tyreek Hill screen. So I'm showing it because I think it's actually a good play from Julian Hill uh, to readjust his hands like that, get his body on and sustain never really gets like outside the frame like initially like he might get outside the frame for like literally this a split second with his hands but he instantly readjusts his hands back to the inside inside that chest of that db that's an excellent excellent rep still mind-blowing to me that that was called holding 
Here we see Hill on this one yard Raheem Mostert touchdown. Just creates some displacement, man. He has some power and just keeps these blocks going. Uh, him and Smythe down here, but you can just see him 89. Look at him extend. He has like a power in his torque. Like he's done a lot this year with just using like a one arm type thing. Seeing him use almost like a hump move, like he's a defensive end at times. But he gets engaged, gets a little bit knocked off balance by this defensive tackle too, because he's trying to block this one on a double team. And he's still able to, you know, extend that arm and create that push with Smythe, which helps Moster get in there into the end zone. Gr great push. I love the extra little power and toughness that he brings up front to this running game. He'll also bring the nastiness on these, you know, goal line touchdown runs. He's had some exceptional blocks in this area. Look at him, the, the initial push that he creates. You can just see the power at the point of attack. Look at him get underneath, good leverage, stays under control. And this is a big guy. Look at him just lift this guy up, take him out of the play. I mean, he ends up getting a little too high himself once he does that. So he gets a little bit knocked off balance. And he's also getting, you know, tripped up from behind and then ends up falling on the ground. But he creates this initial power versus guys who are much bigger than him who are defensive ends, edge types, and he'll still able to create a push uh, down in these red zone situations, and he doesn't really lose the rep until the guy, Mostert, has already scored a touchdown. So just these types of plays make me feel really good, especially he's an undrafted rookie. Another example of him blocking in motion as like a lead blocker type. Uh, we saw him do it to an edge defender this time. You get to see him kick out basically Milano out in space, which is a different type of play. He did it versus the Giants where he just took out an edge defender. This time it's not the exact same look. But Milano tries to set the edge and look at him just create this space. Good leverage, drive him out, and they block. they're able to seal this here too. And it's just perfectly blocked, work together. Gives A-Chan a chance. I can't wait to see Devon come back. He's going to really unlock this offense. But Julian Hill, you know, I think he's going to keep, he keeps, you know, playing significant snaps. Him and Smythe are pretty much been splitting almost like for the past few weeks and he's making some pretty solid blocks out there and I'm excited to see him be more and more involved. Another example of him being a uh, play side of a block but not motioning he's like almost crack backing and just sealing this guy off. Sometimes things are just about positioning with these edge defenders. Another example of A-chan on a pitch but you just give him a natural leverage advantage on this guy block down cut this guy off and now just get active with your feet look how he resets the hands to the inside and now he's just using his body here bending resets the hand again to get back into his leverage advantage that's exactly what you want to see i really like him as a blocker that's great technique um understanding of leverage positioning all of that stuff is great get your hips across when the guy tries to you know refight for that outside leverage right there but he just does it all and the reset of that hands is just really impressive work from Julian Hill. Down on the goal line, whether he's, you know, base blocking, down blocking, you get to see him on a pull, kick a guy out. Look at the power, man. Like, it probably doesn't have, like, they probably would have scored even if he didn't hit this guy like this, but it doesn't, like, these plays are really nice. Look at, like, this guy has to slow down, but I mean, probably would have had a chance to hit most of it. But look at the pop that he just has here to create on this guy, pushes him all the way back to the end zone. Those are defensive ends, and he's moving them a lot of time. And then when you're coming in this hard, this fast at these types of guys, um, you end up missing your spot, but he always comes under control. It takes a great aiming point. Let's play that we're right down here for Julian Hill. Getting him involved on a pull again. Meet a guy in space. Love the readjustment here. This is perfect angle taken to the point of attack. We've seen him like come full speed and take people on, kick them out. Here you get to see him like become like the lead blocker, like hunts the kick out guy, and Hill has to get to the second level. And look how he takes like this little hop skip right here and then gets up to cut this guy off. Just get your body in the way. Don't allow that linebacker. A-chan stays patient, and then he shoots up behind him. This is really nice work. Good footwork from Hill, too. Stays clean. Doesn't go too fast, too quickly, either, but he isn't, you know, walking to get to there, and then he's able to do that all under control, kick out that linebacker. Guy never had a chance to even make a play because Hill was just there with his positioning, his leverage advantage. The blocking is really good. I mean, it hasn't been a perfect season. There's been reps that he's lost. But for the most part, going back through, watching every snap he's taken, it's been pretty clean. So big fan of that pickup as an undrafted guy. I'd like to see what he brings more to the team. If you guys are the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.